Welcome to episode 66 of Cougs on Cougs. This is Jess. I'm Mary, and we're here for an abbreviated show today. Yeah, it's off season. It's the off season. So... We've kind of got a lot going on yeah. personally, whereas there's not a lot going on in the world of BYU sports. So we basically just got talk of the town, but we do have your notable quotable, as usual. Always. This comes from George Bernard Shaw, which is a great pick, I think. Yes. Some men see things as they are and say, why I dream things that never were and say, why not? Isn't that just inspirational? It totally is. I read that and I was like, man, I want to dream things and say, why not? (laughs) Why not another (laughs) national championship? Why not? Why not a final four? Yeah. Why with the letter Y, right? Oh, absolutely. (laughs) Okay. So as promised, we're just going to get right into it with our talk of the town, which doesn't even have that much. Um, and certainly not very much hard news. No, what's um, going on? People post more on social media. I know. Sheesh. Or can something happen? Can we like join a conference? Just kidding. I'm still be waiting what you for a for. new coach. Oh, and maybe oh recruiting yeah. News, that so. was supposed to be the first or second week of May, and we haven't heard anything. Mm-mm. So maybe next week. Hopefully we'll by next week. Oh my gosh! If not by next week, we might have to start to worry a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Okay, what do we have first? Um, had to post this from Jemmer. Yes. <laughs> Tweeted, Wesley's blessing day today. Lots of less from mom and dad. So she is the cute. cutest little girl. I know. And I like, don't want to overdo it with Wesley because we're not just baby crazy, but look at that. Yeah. We have, uh, Kevin Nixon who tweeted that this is the week and Dalton is going to be home Friday, May 12th. I like the That's hashtag right. he's trying to get started. Hashtag bye to Boston. <laughs> I feel like that kind of went by fast. It, probably not for Kevin. Probably not but. for Kevin, and maybe not even for Dalton, but soon enough he'll be back. He'll be on the court, so... Yeah, I'm excited. It'll be good to have him back. It'll be fun, for sure. And I'm When's sure... Luke Worthington get back? I'm sure Robbie knows. Probably not. Yeah, he probably does, but probably not till June, June I guess. We did have Eric Mika working out with the Jazz over the weekend, so... <laughs> yeah, he, he did this on Sunday, did their pre-draft workout with them. No idea how it really went. They yeah. Were, there wasn't media availability, no. so we don't really have the inside scoop on that. But we can assume. We can assume. We can it assume it went well. I mean, he is, he's not without his flaws, so hopefully yeah. they weren't, I mean, on display. But uh, Mary hopes he failed miserably. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying, <laughs> or is it? Okay. Anyway, on to football. Uh, we have to touch base with our Packers, which is <clears throat> weird to say. Our Packers. <laughs> but it's yes. a thing. Um, sure. Let's start with Jamal. So this is from Curdle, um, who has been doing great keeping up with uh, Taysom and Jamal. Had Has had really great coverage on the radio show. I know they were talking about the depth chart for the Packers today. Um, so make sure you're listening to ESPN 960. Ben, send me my check later. Um, <laughs> but he posted this pic of Jamal in his... I mean, that's not his full uniform, obviously, but wearing the jersey, wearing the helmet. Number 30. He's going to be number 30. This picture actually made me, made me excited. Like, I know. It looks really good. It does. He looks like, like he belongs. He totally looks legit. I love it. Like, you could see that on the field this fall. We will see it on the field this fall. I think we will. We had to show this, too. It's from Sydney Carlson. If you've watched our show for a while, you know we love our Hamilton mashup, Cougs and Ham. Duh. We live so, for it. <laughs> she shared one. This is from um, ESPN. I'm yeah, guessing. it looks... Something like well, that. Well, she actually work. Actually, she works for NFL Network, so it could okay, be so that too. Bold fantasy prediction for 2017: Running back Jamal Williams will be a top eight fantasy rookie with the Packers. I like that bold prediction. So I do too. So she tweeted, "And the world's gonna know your name," from Hamilton. Hashtag Cougs and Ham. I would sing it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Our other Packer, <laughs> of course, Taysom Hill, who uh, hasn't been cut yet. Holla! Hey. I mean. He's made it. So when far. camp started, what? I think last week on Thursday. Um, so we've been getting all these pictures. I think most of these pictures did come from last week. Yep. And um, this is from Greg Rebell, and he said, Taysom Hill on his first date in Green Bay, Green and Gold. And unfortunately, red, but that helmet still looks great on him, even though I kind of think it's a little small. I might be alone in thinking that. I don't know. It's, it's different. But, I don't know. I'm too distracted by the red, honestly. I know. I know. Like, I. It's... To even notice the beard he's got going on? Oh, yeah. It just feels wrong just it to does. see the red color. It does. You know? I don't know. I don't have positive reactions to that color. So. <laughs> um, and pointing back to our <clears throat> Criddles coverage, though, I saw 
um, that they were discussing the depth chart today. And as it stands right now, they spoke with someone with the Packers. Taysom is fourth. Rita Mahe, he, I swear we have something from him every week because he's the best on social media. He too. is the best. He's so fun. <clears throat> Happy 16th anniversary to my amazing wife. And it was just fun to see this picture of them I know. on their wedding day from so long so ago. Babies. Finally, this is our last thing in Talk of the Town. That went by fast. Uh, this is from Jordan Pendleton, who we love to see tweets from and definitely follow him. He trains so many of the BYU athletes. He and he tweets pictures quite a bit. Which he does. Nice. This one, um, he said, why everyone else, I think he meant while well, everyone else is sleeping, these dogs are up at 5.30 a.m. working. Great month of training with these guys before they head down south. Um, I think that was right before they went to Texas. Probably. So, uh, gosh, I would not want to run into them in a dark alley. No, they... First of all, they all look really strong. Yes, we'll address that, but <clears throat> the most thing, the thing that sticks out most in this picture? Oh my gosh, Tijon. Like, I'm slightly terrified of him. <laughs> I would not want to line up against him. Can you imagine no, lining no, no, up no, no, against no. Tijon? No, no, I mean, even if he you were a big guy. before, <laughs> but like the bigger his arms get, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I think the funniest tweet I saw was from um, Y fan girl JB, and she said that she thinks that his arms are bigger than her three-year-old. A little bit short this week, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll we'll get some stuff <clears throat> planned. We'll try and find some moms to talk to. Um, we do have what's next. Baseball is today against Utah, so that's kind of a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, that at is home. At, at home, wear royal, which I love the royal baseball uniforms. They Especially against the red. Yes. Definitely. It looks awesome. At 6 o'clock, it'll be on KBYU. But go! Can't get there. So, yeah, definitely go. Those games are fun. And they're the baseball team... Is doing really well lately. They're doing really well, and also <clears throat> this whole week, so obviously it's the Holy War on Tuesday. What other motivation do you need? They have three other games this week, and they've kind of got promotional stuff going on with each of them. Mm -hmm. So on Thursday and Friday, the games are both at 6. On Thursday, it's Star Wars night, which Mormons and Star Wars, obviously, classic combo. Mm -hmm. And they're doing fireworks after the game, so that's fun. And then Friday, um, the football players are signing autographs for an hour before the game. I know Johnny Linehan, probably Tanner, I think, Fred. Um, I know Johnny was tweeting about throwing the first pitch, so you don't want to miss <laughs> yeah, that either. Definitely not. Um, and then Saturday, the baseball players are going to sign autographs after the game, um, and that one's at 1 o'clock p.m. And all three of those games are against Portland, so WCC games. So, And those three, besides for the Utah game, will be on BYU TV. Yep. Um, softball, also amazing, doing yeah, great. They already won it. the WCC, and they're um, they're playing at home as well today against Utah State. So that's at 6 p.m. too, and it is on the W.TV. So, so two in-state rivals going on right next to each other. <clears throat> yeah, it's really fun. I mean, if you can get down there, it's cool to watch both of those things at the same time. As for our sponsors this week, we are brought to you by BYU Men's Volleyball, who unfortunately got swept by Ohio State again. It hurt. Yeah. Oh, it was painful to watch it hurt. again. Oh, the passing. But any time you make it to the national championship <clears throat> is worth all the recognition in the world. So congratulations to BYU Men's Volleyball on a great yeah. season. Sponsor number two is, since it is Mother's Day, our moms. And moms of the players we've talked to. And just maybe those we have yet to talk to. Yes. So we are grateful for moms. All the moms. Happy Mother's Day. May you always stay loyal to the white and blue. For Jess, I'm Mary. We'll see you next week.